Hey y'all, so we have not done a, a YouTube video in a while, so um, I thought we should make one. Okay, okay, so make sure you like this video, comment on this video, make sure you click the subscribe button wherever it's located. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by priming my face with the e.l.f. Luminous Matte Makeup Primer. I got this from TJ Maxx for $3.99. Make sure you do not skip that step, okay? That step is very important. You wanna um, apply primer before you put any makeup on your face, um, especially before your foundation because the primer is gonna work um, almost like a filler, so it's gonna fill in any of your fine lines and wrinkles, pores, etc., etc. okay? Okay, and then today I'm gonna rock my natural brows, natural meaning I paid for them. Um, mine are micro shaded. You can Google the difference between micro shaded and micro bladed. Um, I am going to go ahead and apply some concealer and foundation on my lid. Act as like a primer. Um, that way, when you put your eyeshadow on, whatever color on your eyes is going to pop. Okay, so the first one is going to be Fair Warm. It is by e.l.f. It's the 16-hour um, camo concealer. And I'm just going to kind of put it towards the top like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to take like a flat brush and we're just going to blend that out and then we're just going to kind of shape and highlight under our brows to make them like really stand out. Like so, and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. Okay, and now so for the rest of my lid, I'm going to apply, apply the CoverGirl Away Simply Ageless in the shade 215. And I'm just going to apply it at the bottom. And then I'm going to do the same thing on that eye. Okay, so now you're just going to buff it out, blend it out. Make sure you, you're... Uh, okay, so now you're just going to blend it out. You're going to use a damp beauty blender and blend the two together. Um, and just make sure they're all... Blend it out and blend it together like so. Okay, so moving on to our face. As you can tell, um, I do have some redness. Um, I got a few little bumps because I like to pick my face. I have some freckles. I have some skin pigmentation areas, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to be using the CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless Foundation in the shade 215. This is also the shade I did on my lower lid. And we're going to apply it with a damp beauty blender. Okay, and when you watch videos, don't always believe like the, the, because nine times out of 10, all the foundation is gonna be a good coverage when you just do that. So, make sure you watch the full process. And we'll just do one side first. And I do like this foundation. Um, I'm usually like balling on a budget on certain things. So, $12 is usually kinda expensive for me for my foundation, but I really liked this one. And I do recommend it. I do have combination skin, meaning I get oily and dry, um, but it works for me. Okay, so we're not all the way blended out, but you can tell the difference, of course. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my other side of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I got my foundation on, I like to go in with like a fluffy brush. It does not have any product on it. And I like to buff out my neck because the worst thing is a makeup line. So whether your foundation is too dark, too light, whatever, you can make it work as long as you blend. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with our 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Um, we're gonna apply right under our eye and we'll be able to blend it out, drag it down, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is a concealer perfecting brush. Um, it came in my Ipsy bag. It, it's bow something, I think. Gotcha. I don't know. But anyway, you can use a brush, beauty blender, whatever you prefer. And that's just going to brighten up your under eye. Sorry about that. So we're just gonna blend that out. It should look like so. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this eye. 
Okay, so you should be blended out like so. Okay, so now we're gonna take the Cody Air Spun in the shade Translucent, and we're gonna set that concealer. We're gonna also set our eyes where we did those earlier. Okay. Same thing over here. And then also, especially during all the mask times, I like to put a little um, setting powder down here just to kind of really set in that foundation so I don't have too much transfer. Okay, like so. Okay, so now we're gonna add some color to our face with the e.l.f. bronzing palette. I'm just gonna use all the colors because why not? A lot of people use like the um, foundation contour or like the liquid contour and your girl's not that good, okay? I'm just not. Get my fat neck, my six forehead. Like so, now we're gonna do the sides of my nose. Okay, now we're gonna take our e.l.f. blush. This is the light palette. Um, as you can see, I use all the colors. Maybe I grabbed that one the most. I don't know. But we're just gonna apply that right above our bronzer. Like so. Okay, now that I look like a crazy person, we're gonna take the um, Rimmel London Stay Matte translucent ah Whoa. i be just messing up okay so y'all know i'll be liking to ball on a budget so this is the la colors blush and highlighter set from the dollar tree i'm just going to be using the highlighter part and we're just going to use it to highlight Okay, so here comes the fun part. I'm gonna be using the <laughs> Glamnetic Emerald Green Liner that is magnetic. And then we're gonna put on some lashes. Again, this is the Emerald Green. You can go to glamnetic.com and use code Woody to get you a discount. Okay. So I'm super nervous, but let's do it. So it's just a little felt tip liner. <gasps> yes. It goes on really good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. How cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my vacay lashes. They are magnetic and they're going to stick right onto my magnetic liner. Watch how easy. Just like that, period. She cute, she cute. Okay, so now that I got them both on, I'm gonna use some green eyeshadow from the Beauty Glazed palette from Amazon. I will drop my links. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of the Sky High Maybelline Mascara on the bottom lashes. Just a little, cause I don't want it to take away from my lashes. Okay, and then this is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade of Sand, Ooh, nope, Downtown Beauty. And then we're gonna finish it with our Maybelline Elastic Fix Spray. And I'm all done. 